We kick off the round of 12 tonight with a race under the lights at the California Speedway for the running of the Small Business 500, honoring small businesses across the country. Last Friday night at Bristol was another one of the races where a caution flipped the entire race on its head. Christian Fittipaldi, a non-chase driver, went to victory lane. As we head out here to start the round of 12. Unfortunately, so ha Rusty Wallace, Ricky Rudd, Ward Burton, and Michael Waltrip were out of the chase after Bristol. The 12 that advanced, you obviously saw last Friday night at Bristol in a very short race. See McMurray making laps. Why don't we go trackside? Thanks for joining us here in Southern California for another NASCAR Winston Cup Series event. Pit strategy could be a major factor in this race, Bonnie. Yeah, and what makes these long green runs interesting is that although the cars are all relatively similar, they can have very different pit windows. That can play a very important role at the end of the race when determining who has to pit again and who can go the distance. Jeff Gordon has certainly qualified well in the speedways this year. He really pushed that car in qualifying. Hopefully the team was able to get a good race set up under the car for today. The 64 car is in the top five in points so far this season. Gaining on the leader is tough when you are in the top five in points. It takes you having a good race and the leader having a bad one in order to gain anything substantial. Bernie Sandler is towards the bottom of the points list this season. Well, there's always going to be someone who has to fill in the bottom of the points list. Of course, none of these guys want to ever see their name there. Sometimes it's just not your season to shine. Dodge in the 31 car. 
Starting at row 18 will be the Georgia Pacific Dodge and the Bam Racing Dodge. In row 19 are the Cheerios Dodge and the Net Zero Pontiac. In row 20 are the Benzel Chevrolet and the 11 car. Back in row 21 we have the Interstate Battery Chevrolet and the Citgo Ford. And rounding out the field is the Granger Ford. 62 laps to kick off the round of 12 in the City of Angels and the City of Stars. California Speedway for the running the Support Small Businesses 500. As you saw on the screen, obviously, Bobby Lamonti and Jeff Burton, who did advance to the round of 12, obviously have their work cut out of them due to two separate crashes or issues in practice and qualifying. Obviously, Bobby Lamonti blew up in the morning practice session jeff burton crashed his car during the qualifying session on what, thursday night so here we go mark martin and tony stewart on the pole the guy that nearly swept the round of 16 is starting 12th here we go mark martin tony stewart lead him down we are green here at california What a terrible start for Dylan Merway. He has already lost a couple spots and almost got ran over by Kevin Harvick. Luckily, he gets back going behind Sterling Marlin heading into turn three. Going out of turn four, looks like Mark Martin gets clear of the field with help from Junior. And Martin will lead lap number one tonight. So if there's one thing you got to give Dylan a lot of credit for is he is an amazing pusher to work with. As you obviously remember back to Indy earlier this season, where he pushed Jeff Gordon well out front, and both of them finished 1-2. Even though that race ended under yellow, you got Jeff Gordon trying to make a third lane, going under Nemechek. He had help from Sterling Marlin, who had help from Dylan Merway. Mark Martin slipping all the way to the back of the field. I think Dylan's watching Martin to see if he does anything. Dylan get a little sideways here in turn one. Newman already making third lane down low by himself. Looks like nobody goes with him. Tony Stewart is the early, now the race leader. Man, look at this. Dylan is all over that six car. In fact, if he keeps it up, he might just turn him. He keeps racing him like this. Oh, bolt Martin into the wall. Rusty into the wall. Well, Rusty Wall smacked the wall. And it looks like with Mark Martin behind. And it looks to be like they get out of it okay. And there's Dylan trying to get by Martin. Martin to the top side. And Martin goes around on the front stretch into the wall and into the pack. What a hit. Multiple cars involved. And probably chase contenders. I think I saw Kevin Harvick get in it. As they race back to the yellow flag, a lot of damaged race cars in turn two. And it looks like Stewart takes the yellow. Another early pile up here in lap five. Ooh, Rudd misses him. 
Jeff Green. Wow. Kevin Harvick upside down. Michael Waltrip. Kurt Busch. Got in it. Oof. Boom. Oh, what a hit. Harvick. Hard crash. Saw a car in the grass there. So, huge crash. Mark Martin has retired from the race and is already in a hole heading into Charlotte. Back to green. Looks like Dylan Murray can't seem to get a good good initial start, but once it takes his car a couple his car a few laps, he gets back going. Ryan Newman is the early leader. Remember, he remember back at Michigan, his car was pretty strong in the late stages when it ultimately came down to fuel. Jeff Gordon on the outside lane, getting scrambled by Stewart. Looks like he's dropping back. Jimmy Johnson up ahead. And for a second, whoa, contact. As Gordon with a problem. Jeff Gordon is blown up on the apron, so already in the first 10 laps, we've already got three ch multiple chase drivers with issues in the first 10 laps tonight. We got Mark Martin in a cr crashing out, Kevin Harvick crashing out, Kurt Busch with a problem, and just a few moments ago, Jeff Gordon has blown a motor. Has blown up. Man, this is going to be a huge blow for him heading into Charlotte next week. And the yellow has come out for the second yellow time tonight. Looks like debris from Jeff Green as Robbie Gordon unfortunately ran over it. Kurt Busch was another car involved. Bobby Labonte had some damage as well. So multiple chase contenders caught up in a Early wreck with Mark Martin. Pace car is off. Murway brings him down. He's the only car that stays out. Green flag. Playing some pit strategy, I believe. He's doing everything he can to try to keep the field behind him. Johnson to the high side. They're trying to split him. Looks like Ricky Rudd with a push with help from Newman on the inside. Neck and neck off of four. A little bit of contact. Newman losing some ground. But out front looks like Dylan will barely get edged out at the line. Rudd leads this lap as they head back towards turn one. Three wide, Newman up there in third. Remember, he was strong in June. Murray will tuck in behind Ricky Rudd, trying to see as much, how much fuel he can save. Rusty Wallace battling Tony Stewart for fourth. Neck and neck for the lead. Looks like Ricky Rudd. Probably got half a car length. Dylan has the spot going into turn one. Rudd with the crossover here on the inside. Look at this. Rudd crosses over. Dylan has the spot. 
Trying to hold it down. Looks like Rudd will get the lead. Off four. Can't quite clear him. They're, they've been stuck together like glue for this past these past few laps. Dylan barely leads. There's contact. Hey, tell, Rick, tell Ricky I'm sorry for that. I was trying to side draft him going into one, and I just we got sucked together. That was not my intention to, to door him. Tony Stewart trying to take second to take advantage of this. And Dylan with the side draft on the inside of Rudd. And he gets the momentum by himself, takes the lead going into turn one. Bernard Jr. making his way up to the fifth spot. Stewart to third. This is some great racing. Dylan Merway and Ricky Rudd battling each other's tails off. Tony Stewart, who does he go with? He supports Rudd. Here on the bottom, Rudd's all the way on the apron, pretty much. Merway's still holding steady, but it looks like can't hold him off forever. Tucks up behind Rudd. Uses the apron, which is legal here at California, and takes the lead. This is some awesome racing after multiple chase drivers having problems in a big crash on lap five. Jeff Gordon blowing his motor on lap ten. Now Tony Stewart is up into the second spot. Trying to do all he can to keep Murway trying to keep all he can. He's making this pit strategy work. Murway goes up top. We got three cars in a blanket. Tony Stewart joins the battle. Rusty Wallace could make be up there mixing it up with these two here very shortly. So just a reminder, we'll go ahead and take a look at the drivers that have fallen out of the race so far. And through the rest of the field. Kevin Harvick was in that crash. Michael Waltrip had some problems. So the lowest of the 12 as of right now. Jeff Gordon and Mark Martin both are out of the race, obviously. We got 41 cars that are running. And this leaves... Kevin Harvick and Bobby Labonte to be the other two outside looking in. But somehow two ahead of Kurt Busch. Murway blocking Tony Stewart for all he's worth. Going into turn three. Dylan takes the spot. This this battling has basically brought Rusty Wallace into the fold. Rudd comes back to take second. Murway to the top side. Rudd coming up down low. Rudd could get the lead again. Now Rudd keeps mixing things up with Dylan. That could make this a four-car battle. This could probably be a five-car battle here in the next lap or two. Rudd down low, still necking... Neck at the line. Dylan has the lead. A little bit of contact with Rudd. Somehow Dylan's making this kind of racing and battling work. Really to the top side. Rusty Wallace is taking third. Got two non chasers mixing up with two chasers. Three chasers up front. And Dylan barely has this lap lap led. Still neck and neck with Rudd going into turn one. Still 
Rudd barely has the spot. Dylan gets the power off of two. And gives the lead to Ricky Rudd. Another way, running right up the racetrack. This is awesome racing. It looked to be a three-car battle. It looked to be almost a five-car battle at one point. Merway and Rudd have gone at it. They've raced each other incredibly hard. And this is all because Dylan Merway took pit strategy on that first, that second caution. They're still neck and neck. And it looks like they're going to give the lead to Ricky Rudd. They both tied at the line. Rudd to get the spot. Looks like Murway is going to drop down behind Rudd. Rudd. Blocking all he's worth. Good door. Good lord. Good God. Good lordy wody. Murway with a huge runoff four. Going to throw a. Bit of a chip block. Ward Burton has made his way into the top five. Coming through three and four. And Murway's going to bail the pit road for his green flag stop. Couldn't make the fuel last. What an interesting start to this race. Man, oh man. Great stop for Dylan Murway, and falls a lap down. He had to pit, unfortunately, because of all the damage. Look at that. Harvick's got a lot of damage to his car. Same with uh, 99. Jeff Burton. Actually, was Burton in that accident? I think he missed it. He probably did, but... And are hard to tell, but a lot of torn up race cars, especially up ahead. Kevin Harvick. Look at the damage to the rear of his car. By the way, Ken Schrader and Brett Nine both have retired from this event. So we're down to 39 cars running on the racetrack. Boy, Kevin Harvick went for a wild ride in that accident. It's amazing he's still on the lead lap. Three wide with Labani, with Harvick and Park. Park was also in that accident. He's running without a hood. Here comes Dylan Murray trying to follow Waltrip. He was the car in the grass. We're looking at all replays there. And ooh, Jarrett and Waltrip getting a little chippy trying to break this draft. Could we see cars heading to pit road?
Nah, they're driving good. Burway under Waltrip and it looks like Johnny Benson to get his lap back. Out front, it is the Dale Earnhardt Jr. Show here at California. Jr. showing the way. Could we see him get some California loving tonight? We're about to find out. You're in the Small Businesses 500. A lot of damage to Kurt Busch's car. Behind him, Labonte with damage. Murway trying to use Labonte to get to the front. Still, I remember Labonte is a chase contender. Dylan Murway is also a chase contender as well, or a playoff driver. Newman and Johnson are playoff drivers as well. If a yellow were to come out, Dylan Murway would be beyond the lead lap, pretty much no question. Murway using Labonte to... Whoa, almost a big moment there. Labonte gets it, almost slides into Jimmy Johnson. Somehow they get out of it. Murray gets by Newman, and he's basically using Labonte to just push him to the front. Contact with Stewart. No yellow there. Top five as of right now. Bernard Jr., Ricky Rudd, Ward Burton, Rusty Wallace, and Bobby Labonte. Bobby Labonte is a chase driver. And is trying to use, well, did try to use them until he got loose. Is well, he is using them him to try to get to the front of the field. Ricky Rudd looking on Jr. for the lead. Ward Burton on the high side. No further yellow. No yellow there. More cars heading to pit road. And it looks like Junior, Dylan is going to take Junior up the track. Junior kisses the wall. No yellow there. Run to the point. And Dylan has successfully unlapped himself by doing just that. Going from 39th after a failed attempt at pit strat, what they call pit strategy to 30th and unlapping himself the hard way. Question is, does he have enough fuel to go the distance? If we do get a yellow, we... Dylan Murray will be right where he needs to be. <clears throat> well, he's 29th now. Cars heading to pit road, so depending on how pit stops shake out, this may have just, Dylan Murray may have just finessed the system. Dylan had a lone pit stop under green way before anybody else did their second round.
running around by himself in 19th. Well ahead of the leaders, but not on the lead lap. Well, he is, but not battling with guys like Ricky Rudd and Dale Jr., who seem to be the class of the field right now. So while that goes on, twenty four laps to go, twenty three to go now. Going my way all the way up to the sixth position in a race that went from crazy to a very chaotic start with multiple chase drivers having problems, followed by an early crash. Merle gets into the back of a slow Brett Bonine, and Brett Bonine is going to go around. The leader is on pit road. This could be huge. Dylan could cycle out front the race leader. Because of this, Brett Bonine slides into the wall. Amazingly, looks like nobody else hits him. So, third caution of the night for Brett Bonine. Dylan Murway is ta definitely taking advantage of Jeff Gordon's misfortune tonight. Restarting at the back of the field. In, well, he's in third. Looks like Dale Jarrett is being credited with the race leader. Terrible restart for Dylan Murway. Looks like LePage and Jarrett did not hit. The field is back in the green. Multiple cars are stationed in front of the leader. Here comes Merway trying to go under Petty, get by him. There's Merway, believe it or not, drafting with an enemy of his to get to the lead. He could take him four wide. Nope. Takes the lead. Probably is going to get him coming out of two. He will put Dylan Murway to the point in front of a huge mosh pit of cars. This is almost like a Daytona type restart. Look at this. Everybody in front of him is a lap down. Merway trying to work his way through the field. Earnhardt Jr. is the second closest chaser. Or chase contender, I'm sorry. Look at the damage to the side of Kevin Harvick. Tough night for him. He was part of that early accident, unfortunately. Jerry Nadu did have, was collected. He was that car in the grass early on. Nadu washes up the track into Burton. Or in the Craven. Sorry. There's Dylan Murray. He's currently gapping himself a little bit from Earnhardt Jr. Murray trying to basically make his way through what was a huge mosh of cars. Several big names back there. Looks like Johnson, Marlin, they are not on the lead lap. Oh, 
Fairway gets by him and is well on his way out front. Actually praying for a caution. Slow car on further back in the pack. Dale Jarrett picking his way through the field pretty methodically. So, definitely going to be a big night for guys like Junior and Bobby Labonte. Look at the damage to the rear of that 15 car, though. Remember, he was a chase contender. He did get caught up in that. Was chase contender. Waltrip was in that accident. Now in a race that has virtually been turned upside down after that Brett Bonine incident with the leader Dale Jarrett restarting in the middle of the pack. Dylan Roy is doing all he can to try to save, save, save. Stretch that field as far, far as he can. Dylan Roy has led the most laps. And, oh, contact. Wall trip. In Merway get together, Mayfield up the racetrack. Out front, it is still Dylan Merway's race. We reach the 10 lap to go mark. Does the fuel hold up? We're short. We're going to have to either hope for yellow or hope this race ends under yellow or hope for or everybody else pits. And there's a lot of lot, cars a lot that were trapped a lot down, though, because of this. We are at the 10 to go mark, so if there is a yellow, everybody that is in that was lapped down in that big mosh pit will restart at the tail end of the longest line. Merway trying to make the fuel last. And unfortunately it's not enough. Junior is taking the lead. You better hope there's no yellow. Coming out of pit road, falling a lap down all the way to 21st place and falling further back to 24th, coming back onto the racetrack in turn two. Dale Jarrett is taking the lead from Earnhardt Jr.
multiple drivers a lap down, unfortunately. Dylan trying to do everything he can to make up the time, but unfortunately he had to pit for fuel. Otherwise, he would not have made it. <laughs> he would have been a caution. He would have been the very thing he sought to, he didn't want to have happen. We're waiting to find Newman and Labani. And the two Rusty Wallace who is not for position. Seven to go. Dylan Murway is trying to make up all that time that he lost. And I think his best bet would probably be hope for a crash. Seven to go. Murway with all that wild battling up ahead with... Uh, with Rudd early in this race, and now where does that bring him? Back together. There's the two leaders up ahead. Wall trip, he is a lap down. Jarrett and Junior are battling for the win. I don't think there's any sense these two can't play spoiler. Junior up chasing Dylan up the track to try to keep him a lap down. Wow. There's Dylan Roy trying to tuck up behind Jarrett. Though it may be a moot point, it'll be nice to get a top 15 finish out of what was a very odd race. Puts himself a lap down, or un unlaps himself twice. Ends up 12th. Four to go. Jarrett with the run. He's going to try to block him as much as he can. And Jarrett, to looks like he tries to unlap himself. Jarrett puts Murway a lap down. Junior is there. I guess if Dylan's pretty much out of contention, I don't think there's any sense in Dylan uh, going, being able to fight for the win. Oh, contact! Murway just almost got turned there by Junior. Three laps of racing to go. Jarrett missed out on the playoffs due to his engine issues at Daytona. Looking to have himself uh, at least one solid win to wrap up 2000 to basically help give a little bit of confidence to his team. White flag is out for Dale Jarrett. Norway coming through, trying to protect his position on the racetrack. And it looks like I don't think any of those cars would have been able to make it. So they come down the back stretch. Three, three, and four. There is a slow car in three. Wall trip blows up. We come out at turn number four. And it looks like. Dale Jarrett wins the Support Small Businesses 500 here at California Speedway. Second week in a row, we have had a non-chaser win a race. Dylan Murway trying to salvage probably an 11th place finish out of all this. Mistiming some early fuel strategy and having this race virtually turned on its head. Does he get to Kurt Busch? 
Not even close. goes to show that in this NASCAR Lucy Cup Series, the guy with the dominant car doesn't always win. The 64 car now has one less friend in the garage area. Should be interesting next time they get next to each other on the racetrack. At this point, nobody wants to back down. We could see some sparks fly. Well, it was a great night of racing, and until the next time... Backing down for being another statement. So, yeah. Dale Jarrett wins the Support Small Businesses 500 tonight at California. Dale Jr. finishes second. Matt Kins at third. Bobby Labonte fourth. Ward Burton fifth. Ricky Rudd sixth. By the way, shout out to Bobby Labonte coming from 41st to fourth at the end of the night. Rusty Wall is seventh. Ryan Newman eighth. Sterling Marlin ninth. And Kurt Busch rounds out the top ten. Dylan Murray again. He led the most laps, but... Add another one to the list of races he doesn't win this year by leading the most laps. Jimmy Johnson ending up 12th. And we look down. Mayfield with a good run. Nemechek with a good run. Elliott Sadler with a solid run tonight. Jeff Burton comes up to finish 20th. And they think Dylan Merway nearly have put himself in a hole with this. This mistake, you know, not pitting initially, turns it in nearly turns it into a top ten run. Nady with a good run, Robbie Gordon with a salt ish run, and Ricky Craven ended up twenty six after all those cautions. And then looking down, usual usual suspects. So Michael Waltrip blew his motor late with three laps to go. Ends up 39th. Brett Bonine, 40th. He came out, ran a few more laps before getting crashed. And then Ken Schrader, 41st. Jeff Gordon and Mark Martin, two names you normally expect up front at this track. Both with problems. Martin involved in that big pileup on lap five. Jeff Gordon blowing an engine five laps later. So Gordon, Martin are already in the hole heading into Charlotte. And then it'll basically be a battle between and then Jeff Burton and Tony Stewart are on the outside looking in. So Kevin Harvick has a one position tie gap over Tony Stewart heading into the Lowe's next Friday night. So, the drama builds heading into Charlotte. Even after the, Jeff Gordon's problems, Dylan Merway still couldn't complete the, uh, couldn't steal the points lead from him. But in terms of playoffs, Gordon is in a hole. In terms of the awards... Mark Martin won the pole. Dylan Merway led the most laps. Bobby Labonte passed the most cars. Dylan Merway had the fastest lap. He's the best rookie. And Ryan Newman made the best pass in the race. Not going to look at those. Chevrolet is a 50-point lead over Ford in the EA Sports Manufacturer Championship. And Dylan Merway has officially cracked 1,000 laps on the season. Next Friday night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern, the UAW GM Quality 500, the halfway point of the chase. Good night.